Hey everyone, welcome. Ever feel like people are speaking a different language when they start talking about AI? Like, what's a neural network anyways? Don't worry, we're here to decode the AI jargon and make you the smartest person at the dinner table. Or at least able to nod confidently when someone mentions machine learning. Let's dive in. First up, artificial intelligence. Simply put, it's when we make computers smart enough to do things that usually need humans. Like, thinking, learning, and problem solving. Think of it like this. AI is like teaching your dog new tricks. You're giving it the ability to do something it couldn't do before. Next, machine learning. This is how we teach AI. Instead of programming every single step, we give the computer a ton of data and let it learn from that data. Imagine teaching a kid to recognize cats. You don't tell them cats have pointy ears, they have whiskers, they're furry, and etc. You just show them a bunch of pictures of cats, and eventually, they figure it out themselves. That's machine learning. And then there's deep learning. This is a more advanced type of machine learning that uses neural networks. Neural networks are modeled after the human brain, with layers of interconnected nodes that process information. Think of it like a detective solving a case. Each layer of the neural network looks for different clues, and together, they piece together the solution. So how do these smart machines actually do things? They use algorithms. An algorithm is just a set of instructions that the computer follows to solve a problem. It's like following a recipe to bake a cake. Each step in the recipe is part of the algorithm. And to learn, AI needs data, and lots of it. That's where data sets come in. A data set is a collection of information that the AI uses to learn and improve. Think of it like teaching a language. The more words and sentences you have in your vocabulary, so data sets, the better you can communicate. Large language model is an AI model that is trained on a massive amount of text data to understand and generate human-like text. Think of it like a super smart chatbot that can answer your questions, write stories, and even translate languages. There are different ways to teach AI. One way is supervised learning. This is where we give the AI label data meaning we tell it what is the correct answer. It's like teaching a child by showing them a flashcard with the word apple written under a picture of an apple. Another way is unsupervised learning. Here, we give the AI unlabeled data and let it find patterns and relationships on its own. It's like giving a child a box of Legos and letting them build whatever they want. They might discover new ways to connect blocks and create something amazing. And finally, reinforcement learning. This is where the AI learns by trial and error, receiving rewards for good actions and penalties for bad ones. Think of it like training a dog with treats. You reward the dog when it does something right, and it learns to repeat that behavior. The thing that learns from the data is called a model. The model is the AI's brain, and it's what we use to make predictions and decisions. Model training is a process of teaching the model using data. We feed the model training data to help it learn, and then we use testing data to see how well it's learned. It's like studying for a test. You use your notes, training data, to learn the material. And then you take a practice test, testing data, to see how well you understood it. Variance refers to how much the model's predictions change when using different data sets. It's like asking different people for their opinion on the same topic. If their opinions vary widely, there's a high variance. Regression is a statistical method used to determine the relationship between a dependent variable and one or more independent variables. It's like trying to predict how much it will rain based on the number of clouds in the sky. And there you have it. You're now armed with the basics of AI terminology. Go forth and impress your friends, families, and colleagues with your newfound knowledge. Don't be afraid to ask questions and keep learning. The world of AI is constantly evolving, and it's an exciting journey to be part of.